Hello? Hi. Um, I just wanted to come on here and make a quick book recommendations video. Um, so I picked four books off my Goodreads. I own most of them. Um, that I thought I could recommend to anybody no matter what their reading comfortability is or what their tastes are and that they would have an enjoyable experience. So, one of these is a memoir. One of them is a fantasy series. Um, I have a graphic novel in here and I have a contemporary with a little bit of a sci-fi twist on it. So, I'm going to start with the memoir. So, this one totally sticks out as something I think everybody should read. This is Night by Ailey Wiesel, I think you pronounce his name. It's a Transylvanian gentleman, um, wrote about his experience as a teenager in Auschwitz and Birkenau. His entire family was taken there. Um, it's extremely unique writing. Um, but very good writing. It's very different from a lot of World War II historical fiction that I read because it's someone's actual true account. Um, and that just puts a whole lot of more skin in the game. Um, everything you read is more real. Everything you experience is more painful. Um, and I am not surprised that he is the winner of prizes like the Nobel Peace Prize, United States of America Congressional Gold Medal, French Legion of Honor. Um, it's super raw. It's about, you're not going to find complete descriptions of the camps. You're not going to find um, a really detailed look of what he saw. But you're going to, he lets you look into him and probably some of his most painful memories and moments. And it's not just about how terrible the camps were, but it's what the camps turned people into or the situations that people were put in and what they had to go through. And I think I cried like three times during this book. Um, just because it's, it's a tragic point in history. And it hit me while I was reading this that more people need to pick this up. There's not going to be people around to tell this story for very much longer as generations come and go. So this is so important to pick up. It's part of a trilogy. Uh, this is the first one. The second one is Dawn and the third one is Day. I have not picked those ones up yet. I honestly did not even know it was a trilogy until I went on Goodreads. Um, so yeah, that's the first book I wanted to talk about. I think everyone should read it. I think everyone will enjoy it. Not that it's a story that should be enjoyed per se but I think that it's will enrich everyone's life no matter who you are okay on a different note um I wanted to pick the first book of my favorite series I don't have the cutest copy in the world but this is um the one I originally read it in so it has a special place in my heart um this is Red Rising by Pierce Brown which is a fantasy series um taken T takes place in space. I wouldn't necessarily call it a sci-fi, but it's definitely fantasy t that takes place in space on different planets. Um, essentially the premise for this book, um, the title comes from a group of people rising, rebelling. Um, essentially, our main character's name is Daryl. Um, he is part of the red social class where humans are put into different, it's a caste system based on the color you're born into, the color of your eyes, your skin, your hair. Um, and he's born into the reds, which is a very, very strenuous, dangerous, hardworking cast of people to live in. Um, the reds live on Mars underground. They are, um, set with the task of... Mining the interior of Mars because humanity has to leave Earth, um, and they've been told they're humanity's last hope. They think they've been tasked with this huge job of saving humanity, mining the precious elements from Mars, making it inhabitable. But Darrow finds out it's been a lie the entire time. So you learn about all the different casts of people. Um, Darrow becomes a rebel, becomes 
he thinks a savior to his people. I would recommend this even if you don't like fantasy. Um, because it has great world building and great characters. Not only is it a plot driven book, but it's character driven by far. There's a great character arc in all of these books. The world world, world building is amazing. I, you learn so much in such a short time. There's different kinds of characters that are so fleshed out. Um, it's super interesting the way that Pierce Brown imagines this is supposed to be the future. And it's so interesting the way Pierce Brown imagines the future to be. This just this book just has a great personality <laughs> and I highly recommend it even if you don't like fantasy. It's not hard to get into. You're not going to be lost right away. It's so good. It's so good. Please read this. And if you've read this, please talk to me about it in the comments. Just like if there's spoiler, spoilers, put a warning because I love talking to people about this book. I love the characters in this book. And especially if you're caught up, I'm shook. I can't believe I just said that. Okay, then the third book I wanted to talk about is The Humans by Matt Haig. Let me get closer. The Humans by Matt Haig. Um, this is a super interesting book. I would consider it a contemporary. It definitely takes place like in the here and now um, with a little bit of a sci-fi twist because it has aliens. So um, you, the main character in this book is <clears throat> an alien sent to Earth to go undercover and to kill this um, mathematician uh, professor guy who has what we've been told is found a formula or cracked a formula or whatever um, that unlocks a lot of secrets of the universe that could speed up the um, development of humans incredibly fast and the aliens are threatened by that and so they have been watching humans and now they've gone too far and now the guy who made the discovery needs to be killed. But what it ends up being is a look at what it means to be human, which is super interesting and the author does such a good job because you feel like you're out of your body, you feel like an outsider looking in and he does such a good job at painting humans and like nailing on the head what makes, what does it mean to be human? What is the human experience? And it's hilarious. It's actually hilarious. Um, the aliens have a great sense of humor. It's very ironic. It's very satirical. Um, but this book has such a unique identity, I feel like. That's why I want to recommend it to everybody because I, I've never heard of anything like this. And... I've never read anything like it and I think it's a book that everyone needs to pick up and read for themselves and experience for themselves um, because it has this weird self-awareness that's a little unnatural and yet it sucks you in. You can't stop reading it. You, you can't help but relate to the alien. Um, and I don't want to say too much about it because it could be a spoiler but the perspective it's written in is from the alien because it's it's the first person from the alien but he's actually writing it to other aliens so hopefully that's enough mystery to like perk up your ears it's super interesting everything about this book is unique and interesting and I highly 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 recommend highly recommend and then the last one I actually don't have um, with me it is a graphic novel series um, called The Wicked and the Divine. Um, I wanted to recommend this because I feel like it deserves a lot more attention than it gets because I've never seen it on booktube and I can't find it at used bookstores. I can't find it at Barnes and Noble. Are people not reading this? Because this is really good. Essentially, it is... Um, it's about... 12 gods that become reincarnated into human hosts every 90 years, but they're only alive for two years. It takes the human bodies with them. 
However, it's a huge deal be to become one of the gods because they're like pop stars, like fashion icons or pop stars or rock stars or um, ravers. Like it's actually hilarious the inner like the intermingling of gods from various different like various backgrounds of mythology intermingled with like 2018 like pop culture 2018 society like it's so good it has such a good premise first of all that's the premise and then the storyline and the plot that happens throughout is so interesting so good the characters are so good I was surprised at how flushed out this graphic novel is sometimes when I read graphic novels I'm looking for more detail than they can give me or for what a graphic novel allows this one is such an exception to that it was so good I just keep things saying things are so good but it was super surprising I got them on I read them on Hoopla so if you can't find them like I couldn't find them if your library has Hoopla you can read them on there um, I think Hoopla has them as like two the two omnibuses like year one and year two because they're alive for two years the art is the art is great how can I not talk about the art of a graphic novel the art is great the writing is great it's super flushed out you get you really get to know the characters it's told the timeline is great everything is great I'm so surprised I haven't heard anyone talking about it I'm in the wrong crowd of people apparently but if you can find that read it seriously pick it up because I am almost more impressed by the wicked and the, the divine than saga I'm just gonna put that out there so take from that what you will if you haven't heard of both please just read the way <laughs> um but I, I think that's it those are the four books I would recommend to anybody um of course I have a lot more favorite books but I wanted to take the four books that I thought of kind of universal and that everyone needed to at least try in their life because if they're not, they're missing out. So those are the four I came up with. Thanks for sticking around. If you made it the whole time, wow. You are strong. You put up with my rambles and my very small vocabulary. I'm sorry about the lighting. My camera does not auto adjust. Like when I look this way, I'm so pale that it focuses on, it over exposes my paleness. So hang, hang with me through the struggles of not having a camera or not having real lighting or you know my ugly background this is the only way i could get my bookshelves in the background but anyways thank you so much i'll see you at my next upload hopefully you'll be there bye